Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross. I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland, which is really windy today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So a couple of months ago, I was out for a walk just behind where we are today in Bangor Marina, and I bumped into an old friend and local musician, Craig McConkey. Craig and I got chatting. He asked me about my photography. I asked him about his music. And the result of that conversation was basically that we organized to do a photo shoot for Craig's next musical release. Me being me, I might've slightly pushed Craig into getting those photographs taken on film, but he agreed. So I went away, did a little bit of research and chose two film stocks to shoot those portraits of Craig with. In this video, I wanted to share with you the results of that shoot. So when doing a little bit of research for my upcoming shoot with Craig, I stumbled across a company that I'd never heard before called Reflex Lab. Reflex Lab are a bit like Cine Still in that they repurpose Kodak motion picture stock for use for photography. Just like Cine Still, Reflex Lab have removed the Remjet layer off the back of the motion picture stock. So when using it for photography, you get those beautiful halations in the highlights in the, the brightest areas of your image, you know, like the red glow around the, the street lamp. By removing the Remjet layer, this means that you can get your film developed using the C41 color process. Reflex Lab have a whole range of film stocks available to buy on their website, but the two I decided on were 400 Daylight and 800 Tungsten, and they come in these cool little um, metal tins that you can reuse for whatever you want. This Reflex Lab 400 Daylight film is based on Kodak Vision 3 250D, and this Reflex Lab 800 Tungsten film is based on Kodak Vision 3 500T. So finally, the day came around that Craig and I had organized to head out and shoot these portraits on film for his next musical release. In my head, I pictured the photographs shot on like a beautiful, warm, bright, sunny, colorful summer's day, but uh, living in Northern Ireland, you can never guarantee the sun. So on the day, it was so dark, so dull and rained like non-stop. With the weather being what it was, it meant we had to take shelter in one of Belfast's many multi-story car parks and shoot most of the photographs there. But you know what? I'm still pretty happy with how they turned out. To spice up this shoot and introduce a little bit of chaos, I wanted to shoot these two rolls in completely opposing ways. So first of all, I grabbed the roll of Reflex Labs 400 Daylight Film loaded it into my 35 millimeter SLR camera, my Minolta 100X with the three record lenses that I talked about in a previous video. With the second roll of film, I wanted to try something completely different. So I took the roll of Reflex Lab 800 tungsten and loaded it into this, Ruth's Konica Pop. It's a point and shoot 35 millimeter camera with a pop-up flash. And you might notice something really weird about this flash. And did you buy it like that? Was that, was that the way you bought it? Or? <laughs> With the cellotape, yeah. What I've done is I've cellotaped a little bit of orange plastic over the bulb. And the reason for this is because I was shooting tungsten balanced film, I knew that the photographs would turn out really blue. So I wanted to counteract this and shoot all the photos in this roll with the flash, with this little like orange makeshift gel over it. With the roll of Reflex Labs 800 tungsten film that I shot with the Konica Pop, I just like, fired off shots left, right and center with this camera when Craig wasn't expecting it. Even like we were walking about the street and I was like, here Craig, bang, and like popped the photograph. It was a bit of a wild card roll and I had no idea what was gonna come out at the end of it. Also something to note about this camera is that the light seals in the back really need replaced. Like they're just like decaying away, crumbling out of the camera when you open the back of it. So. I knew that I was gonna get some light leaks shooting with this Konica Pop, having shot with it before, but I sort of thought maybe the light leaks will add another dimension to the photographs. And cause I'm just walking about, firing off photographs, unpredictable random results was what I was going for with this roll of 800 tungsten film. And it's what I got. So enough about how I shot these photographs. Here are some results from the shoot.
I hope you liked some of those photographs. I'm pretty happy with a few of them. Not every photograph, obviously, on a roll of film, especially how I shot it, is gonna turn out a winner, but yeah, I think we ended up with a few really interesting looking images. One thing I was really excited about when shooting with um, motion picture film with the Remjet removed was the presence of halations. Now, there are a few photographs in there where the halations are present, but I really thought there'd be a lot more of them. Maybe it was to do with the weather, the dull, rainy, cloudy, overcast day. I actually do think that my makeshift flash worked really well and created some really interesting results, especially this one here of Craig in the elevator. The orange light filled the elevator, but hit the doors as the doors were closing and bounced back and they weren't orange. I don't know how on earth that happened, but that's just the magic of shooting film. I am 100% gonna buy some more rolls of film from Reflex Lab in the future. If you're still watching this and you've shot any rolls of Reflex Lab uh, for yourself or CineStill or any of the other companies that repackage Kodak's motion picture film stock, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great, great day and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.